morning children, I hope you all have done your homeworks. In your previous class, we have learned about need for our joints. We have learned about our joints and what is the need of it. Today we are going to learn a types of joints from block one. Second subtopic, types of joints we are going to learn. So before going to the topic, first let us know what is a joint. Joint is a place where two bones meet at one place. Two bones are connected at one place which allows the movement in our body. We have, there are different types of joints in our body. And different types we see different joints. Different bones are framed. They allow a different types of movement in the body. So here we are going to find out the types of joints. How they according to the type of their movement. So today so we have learned that uh, different bones are framed together and more different joints are been present. In this they are it shows some different movement in different parts of the joints. Here we show that some kinds of joints will allow some type of movement. Each joint will not show the same kind of movement. So accordingly we are going to differentiate types of joints. The types of joints we have movable and immovable. Some joints will allow the movement in our body. So such joints we are calling it as movable joints and some joints in our body will not allow the movement. Such joints we are calling it as immovable joints. Now we have to find out where the joints are present in our body. First, let us come to our scalpa, head region. We go from the head region. In our head region, we have discussed that in our skeleton, the skull part is also made up of the bones. So there is also a bones are joined together. So there are also joints are present. That means that the skull is also a part of joint. So here, can we move our skull part? Can we move the bones in our skull region? No. So that means in our skull part it will not allow the movements to, it will not allow the bones to move. So that joint we are calling it as immovable joints, which doesn't allow the movement at that joint point that joints we are calling it as immovable joints. The skull region will not, does not allow the movement. Now come to the neck region. Neck region can we turn our head backside? No, we cannot turn. We can only move our head in sideways. That means our neck region will allow the movement only sideways. So it will not allow the to turn our head backside. So this allows the movement only sideways, but we can rotate our head. So this type of joint is allowing the movement, this comes under movable joint. So the neck region, it shows the movement, so it is a movable joint. Now come to our shoulder region, where we have this bone is connected. Most of our limbs region will show the most part of our joints. So in our shoulder region, we can see our joints. Then, can we move our hand? Yes. We can lift it up, we can bend it down and we can keep in a straight way. Even we can rotate our hand. This is allowing the movement to move the hand in all directions. So the shoulder region is allowing the movement to move in all the directions. This is one type of movement. Next, come to the elbow region. Here we can see the elbow region. 
children read the lesson and the write the underlined words as hard words in your class work and you are going to draw the pictures of immovable joints and movable joints you are going to draw these pictures figures in your class work at the plain side open your workbook you can see the two pictures x-ray pictures given there x-ray of wrist part and the x-ray of rib cage you are going to find out the difference here wrist part will show they are showing many small bones have many joints and the rib cage also showing many bones and the joints but wrist part you can see that these joints will allow the movement so this is a movable joint and rib cage part it will not allow the joints to move these joints are not allowing the movement in your body so the difference you are going to write why can your fingers and wrist move in so many directions because why your fingers can move in so many directions because they have so many small bones and so many joints are there so it will allow the joints to move in many ways whereas in the rib cage part it will not allow the movement Question: There are even why do ribs have joints and why they are immovable? Why do ribs have joints? There are also many bones present. They are also should get attached. So there is also joints are present, but they are immovable. 